Hi there. How are you? I've been away for so long. I missed you guys. I love my subscribers. I missed you and I miss YouTube so much. All I've been doing was watching Dance Moms for the past seven months and that's about all. So, so let's start with all the hot and cold tea. Let's roll with it. Hi and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose and I love to deliver all the latest tea and commentary on this channel. Just a slight rant for the minute as to where I've been for the past seven months. Well, not very far. <laughs> But I have missed out on so much, like what have I missed out on? Heaps. Laura Lee and uh, many MUA went to Spain, I think, and apparently they don't serve water in Spain. <laughs> water is a hot commodity. And as in America, so in Australia, where I'm living, I wasn't born here, but I live here, we tend to drink lots and lots of water. So they were telling us that, you know, if you ask for ice cubes, they would bring you one ice cube. If you asked for water, you'd get like a tiny glass of, you know, a tiny bit of water in a glass. So that was funny. People cheating on each other, left, right and center. I might bring you a video next time about that. All the latest gossip, James Charles clapping back on haters with the Met Gala dress codes and whatever else that he was wearing. People weren't loving what he was wearing and the way he was being dressed. I think it's a bit shallow, but that's me. I'm older and hopefully a little wiser now. So where have I been? I have been looking after a sick relative, close relative for the past the good it's it's been a long journey but i've been away from youtube mainly looking after a sick relative and uh, because there was no one else <laughs> except for me so and now i'm back still looking after a sick relative but i'm back now because i miss youtube and i miss you guys i love it i, I love the whole gig what else happened I dropped a few toxic friends along the way. And I think that's a good thing. You don't have to put up and shut up all your life. When your friends are being toxic and not supportive of you in any way, shape or form, you know, it's time to say bye bye or it's time to disconnect. I tend to, for most part of my life, attract really narcissistic friends and narcissistic relationships. <laughs> That's why I've been single for so long. Yeah, I never thought much about it until I started maturing and hopefully a little bit of wisdom kicked in. And I've been thinking to myself, why have I been attracting so many toxic, narcissistic people into my life? It's really very simple. My father was the most narcissistic person I've ever met. And I grew up with him. So that's the only kind of love I ever knew to be normal. And it's not normal. It's not normal for a person to be at their highest when you're at your lowest. I used to have a friend I grew up with her and I thought she was a really, you know, a genuine good friend until I started doing so well at my craft. I used to do tarot card readings and I was just psychic readings and healing and I was flat out busy. I had the most busiest practice you can imagine. It was incredible and I would meet her for coffee every weekend and I wasn't bragging I was so excited you know that I could help so many people and do so much good and I had such a busy clientele base and that used to really get under her skin and she did a nasty on me a real nasty I'm not gonna go into it but and whenever I was down she was always there for me it was as if that's the only times that she was there for me and she was not there for me at the good times she would be jealous I would think I don't know, but that's according to the enlightened target. I'm reading off my uh, notebook here. A fellow YouTuber, she teaches about narcissists and their habits. A narcissist is at their highest when you're at your lowest and they like to control the narrative. And that's what she used to do. She is a fair bit older than myself and my other friends. And she would used to drive and we still didn't because here in Australia, you get your license when you're 18. 
not 16 like in America and as soon as something good happened to us we would meet someone or meet a new guy and excited and happy she immediately had to go and we relied on her for transport anyway so it's my car she used to say you know I drive you so be grateful and whatever it's none of my business that you are happy because I want to go now that kind of thing and that's a very narcissistic thing to do and as of late like a couple of friends from when I was young like you know when I started YouTube I would say to them can you please support me like with subscriber base and can you leave a like can you leave a comment something can you share my videos because it's so important to YouTube you know to the algorithm and all of that and they would tell me things like oh I don't watch YouTube I don't watch your content doesn't excite me I don't know how to log into YouTube <laughs> really <laughs> really I don't know how to find you blah 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 excuses and then like a year later they would come out and say oh gee we well, you know you speak so eloquently I didn't know you could speak that well or wow you come out with such interesting content I love your content blah 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 but not once have they ever left a comment left a like maybe they're subscribed I haven't checked I can't be bothered checking but it's like the toxicity of this type of friends is beyond a joke it's like why aren't you happy for me do you think I'm raking in millions already no I'm not I'm actually <laughs> I haven't made a cent out of YouTube as yet but I love it and I love my subscribers and I pay my editors so I am actually doing it because I love it because I absolutely love it anyway that's a bit of a rant so let's have a look at what the enlightened target has to say about narcissists in today's video we are going to explore the fact that when you the victim of the narcissist are at your worst why they the narcissist feels at their best that is one of the fundamental differences between a narcissist and a normal person most people enjoy and are happy to see someone they love happy independent and feeling joy from their life and their achievements that in and of itself will make someone who truly loves you feel joy and happiness however it doesn't work that way with a narcissist and today we are going to explore exactly why that is with those closest to us but not the narcissist normal people spouses and parents thoroughly enjoy watching their loved ones build their happiness through their own independence through their own interests and things that they love through their own life experiences and the life that they have built from that independence and normally that recognition in turn makes the person who is experiencing your happiness through their happiness and independence also experiences happiness from that recognition however that is not so with a narcissist not even close that definition of experiencing happiness through watching the loved one in their life experience joy and happiness from their own independent life and experiences does not work nor compute with a narcissist narcissists do not want anyone in their life to experience happiness or joy that does not directly go through the narcissist their definition and understanding of happiness is derived through the domination of those closest to them they want your happiness to go through them and um, them alone they want you to view yourself as happy only if it is directly associated to your connection to them so as you can see narcissists are at their top when you're at your bottom at your lowest and narcissists absolutely enjoy controlling the narrative and all my life that's the type of friendships I've had and I'm not that type of a person to have those type of friendships I love my kids like my kids you know adults now they're all growing up so I love spending time with them and they're my best friends I mean can you get better friends than your own children I don't think so anyway and then and now the last thing I want to mention to you very quickly I work as a healer I'm a healer of many modalities and I've been in this job for many many years and unfortunately clinic where I was renting the room has closed down so I'm in the process of looking for a new place to call my home my second home and to see my clients now I've been thinking 
that it's a good time to offer my subscribers long distance Reiki healing. I'm a Reiki master slash teacher and I have been for a good 25 years. Long distance Reiki healing. So if you're interested, go down, check out the box below, the description box and let me know if you're interested because I'm more than happy to oblige. Before I get any further into this the hot gossip, please make sure to like, subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos a good three times a week now, regularly, and all the latest, spilling all the latest tea. And also when you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified for all my latest uploads. And please share my videos whenever you feel like and whenever you can because it's really important to me. It's important to the algorithm to get as many views as possible. <laughs> you can tell I haven't been on YouTube for ages. As many views as possible, obviously, because they push out the videos. I'm also going to do a little setup soon in the next few days, a nicer background than just a plain wall. Anyway, now let's get on with the hot tea or maybe cold. I don't know. I've been watching Dance Moms and nothing else. Let's roll with it. Oh, baby crying. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you ask the nurse, I'm like, can he deliver the <laughs> Yeah, they wanted to so. <laughs> They don't want you to do anything here, Jason. They don't want you to do anything here, Jason. 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 So even though Trisha Paytas has become very normal, good. That's great. I'm happy for her because she's a new mom to a baby girl. Wow. As you can see from the Illuminati video, after giving birth by C-section, what does she do? She turns around. Her husband, uh, Moses, is recording her. He's so excited. What does she do? She turns around and calls him her ex-boyfriend's name, Jason. Can you even imagine how Moses, her husband, would feel? Oh my God. I would absolutely die. She must have been under so much anesthesia that she didn't realize what she was saying. But, you know, in her subconscious, she's still thinking of Jason Nash. Wow. I don't know whether that's hot tea or cold tea, but when I saw it, I wanted to make sure that I was going to share this with my subscribers. That's such a big boo-boo to make. How can you confuse your ex-boyfriend's name with the father of your newly born child? Wow. Now, just a bit of other news. Khloe Kardashian gets proposed to. By whom? Let's roll the tape. He proposed and you never told us. Yeah. Tristan proposed to you? Yeah. A new twist in the Tristan Thompson saga, Khloe Kardashian reveals she rejected a proposal from her ex. On the September 29th episode of The Kardashians, Khloe lets viewers in on the secret, Tristan proposed to her in December of 2021. Amid their on-again, off-again relationship, the reality star explains that she ultimately said no. And what I said, I said, I, I need to make sure this is a totally different relationship because I want to be proud to say I'm engaged to anyone. And that's why I said, you know, I'm not comfortable accepting this right now because I'm not excited to tell my family. And as hurtful as that probably was for him to hear, it was the truth. I'm not ever going to accept something and give someone false hope. And I said that to him. Kim later tells viewers that Chloe kept the proposal a secret from the family. And he was going to propose to her on Valentine's Day which was like a year since they had drama. So this is like last Valentine's Day. And then I called him like the day after and I was like, hey, I never heard anything from Chloe. Oh my God, did you propose? And he was like, oh yeah, I did in December. Oh my God, she didn't tell us. So Tristan Thompson has the audacity to propose to Khloe Kardashian after having cheated on her multiple times with multiple partners and having even had a child with another woman at the same time as Khloe Kardashian was pregnant with his daughter. The audacity? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. I absolutely do and I read every single one of them. I am at a stage where my subscribers subscriber base is low enough that I can reply to your comments. So I love the interaction. Oh my God, can you even imagine? Now, if he behaves this way before they're married, how is he going to behave when they're married? Once a cheat, always a cheat, ask my ex-husband. But that's a different story. <laughs> I'll leave it for another day. <laughs> 
Anyway, and fancy Kim Kardashian saying, well, you know, Tristan Thompson proposed to Chloe and she's thinking about it. She wants him to change. Yes, she wants him to change, but he won't change because he's a cheat. Once a cheat, always a cheat. I don't believe that you can teach an old horse new tricks. He got away with it. You allow a man or a woman, your partner, to get away with cheating, they will continue to test you and to try you and to see how far they can go. That's the name of the game. Some people cheat, some people don't. It is what it is. Is Chloe a victim in it? No, she's not. She was initially, but now she isn't because she knows whom she's dealing with. Would I marry someone who has cheated on me? Not on your life. Absolutely not because it'll never change. It'll only get worse once they've got you, once they've got the ring on their finger. Anyway, that's my latest hot cold. Don't know. Tea. I will be back very soon. Please make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it. If you didn't, you know, you can still thumbs up. <laughs> It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> Please subscribe. I'm going to upload regularly from now on. Hopefully, I will be able to manage bouncing between, you know, hell, helping a sick relative, as well as looking for a new practice and working part-time as a healer and always uploading to YouTube because I love it. I absolutely do. I was born too early because you're all so much younger than me. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're not, but a lot of the creators are. But I'm finding creators who are more mature or more my age. If you're interested in long distance Reiki healing, please go and check out the description box. It's all there. If you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out the description box. If you're looking for an editor and you enjoy my editing style, my editor will always enjoy to work with new clients. I will also leave his details below and you can always email him. Missed you so much. Love you so much. Can't wait to come out with more interesting hot tea cosmic kisses to everyone and lastly i did forget i changed my other channel it used to be called spiritual destiny now it's simply called miriam rose 2 please check it out if you're interested in guided meditation and all i'm doing there is uploading twice a week guided meditation 10 minute 20 minute guided meditation so if you like to meditate relax your mind body and spirit get into the zen space just breathe and start your day on a good note on a positive note or finish your day with a gentle sleep guided meditation please visit my other channel called miriam rose too i love you so much i miss you so much i really do till next time cosmic kisses to everyone bye for now the video froze so <laughs> my editor will always welcome new um you need to cut this out, right?